Well, now it's time for the Fox 43 at 4 Late Day Conversation. Today, we welcome back Peggy Biesterfeld for our weekly chat about filing taxes. Thanks for stopping by, Peggy, and good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, David. Well, we've got to make sure that we're really clear now on the deadline and then also the time for filing any extensions whatsoever. Okay. Deadline is the 17th of May, which is a Monday, I think. Um, anyway, yeah. Um, but then if you can't make it by the 17th, there's always extensions for that go until October 15th. Um, I call that procrastinator's tax day just because everybody puts it off. So anyway, um, extensions are, are for October 15th. Um, it's an extension to file, not to pay. I have to keep reminding people of that. If they think they're going to owe, they be they sh they're better off paying something with the extension. All right, very important news on that too because I would think people might want one more time to get money together, but you're saying at least contribute something so they know that you're making at least some progress. Now, what do you know about any IRS backlog when it comes to either processing payments or some delays with refunds? The, the refunds are really, really delayed. I have probably 20 calls on my desk to the IRS, that I have to do to the IRS about where's my refund. It's been three, four, up to eight weeks and I haven't gotten my refund yet. All I can tell them is they're still being processed. Um, they aren't fast this year. Now, in, um, in a typical, in, in a typical they, year, Peggy, what would be the turnaround? I mean, what's, what's the average? Two, two weeks, two and a half weeks. All right, so eight weeks is um, a problem then, yeah. Yes, it is, and then people count on that refund sometimes for just living expenses, and it's not coming fast this year. Okay, so, so if there's a retirement account, and we'll touch on this, what am I supposed to do uh, before May 17th? If that's the new deadline extension now, uh, what am I supposed to do as far as contributions and things like that? If you want to contribute to a traditional or even a Roth IRA, you have to have it and have it for year 2020. You have to have it in place by the 17th. Um, you have to have it funded actually by the 17th. So um, if you can and have the funds, you, you know, it's a good tax. The traditional is, is a good tax um, strategy to use, but the Roth, it's a good trust being, you put it in tax, ta you pay tax on it while you, before you put it in, but when you take it out, if you leave it in five years, it's all tax free. So whether you're of age to do it or not, it doesn't matter on the Roth. So. All right. Well, Peggy, our time's already up. I want to thank you again for breaking away. I know your time is really wrapped up with work right now. And if you have a question for Peggy or you simply want more information, go to her website. It's peggystaxks.com. I'll say it one more time, peggystaxks.com.